Hey guys, Patty with Little Red Southern Kitchen. And we're making fried flounder tonight. It's just me and Tony, so I've only got like four little pieces. But I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do it to start it out. Alright, I'm using my cornmeal mix, which you can use if you don't have cornmeal mix. You need to use cornmeal and flour. Now in the, no, I'll get to that in a minute. To this, I'm going to add some paprika. All these measurements are however. Oops. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some salt. I am using pink Himalayan. And some pepper. Let me get a fork and mix this up. Be right back. Okay. Now, to this, I'm going to add one egg and some beer. This is Red Stripes, who all my husband likes. Doesn't matter what brand. And you just want to mix this till it's a medium thin batter. I told him he could have the rest because this is his last beer and he uh, might not get any. I want to tell y'all, I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. I leave, need like 94 more subs. Once I reach 1,000, I'm going to have a big giveaway. So, please share and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And share it on your social media. And I think this is done. Now, my area over there by my uh, stove is going to be a little limited, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. What I have done is with these four pieces of flounder, I have patted them dry. Then I'm going to roll them, just coat them with a little bit of flour, and then dip them in here and dip it in the hot oil. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, I've got my oil preheated to... 375 degrees and I'm gonna get started as I said I patted the fish dry the flounder and I'm gonna coat it just in a light dusting of flour put it in my batter and try to shake off the little bit of excess and drop it in. I think I can only do like two. Sorry, I don't have a wet or a, and a dry hand. I wasn't even thinking about that. But that's okay. Now you go cook these about three minutes per side. Okay, we'll be back. I'll show you what, what's happening. These have been cooking about three to four minutes per side. Now, if you want to just put them on a paper towel on a plate, that's fine. But I like them to stay crispy. And you know, if you stack them on one or the other, they're going to get a little bit all greasy, greasy. So what I do is I put up a tray in my, whatever this thing's called, Jesus. All right, we'll be back with the metal finished rack. product. <laughs> All right, guys, everything's done. Now, this is one complete meal, but three different videos. But I'll link everything to each other. And let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is the red grits. Yummy. Mmm. 
Then I'm going to add a couple pieces of fish. And then some of these hush puppies. All right, guys. I am so excited to eat this. I'm so excited to be back with y'all. Don't forget, like, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, share it, so and help me out. And I hope to see y'all very soon. Supper's ready. Bye, y'all.